Hey you guys, once again, this is Samantha coming to you from Send In Company. Before I get too far into this video, if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and also share. Also, you can head on over to Send In Company and support me, purchase an item, and let me know how you think about it. So today I'm gonna be actually showing you guys how to make candles this Samantha way. I know, you know, it's a lot of video on how to make candles, but I'm gonna show you how to make it the Samantha way. I'm gonna also be making it in my garage. I love making it out here because it's so peaceful. I get to enjoy nature. And also I don't have to consume all the, the um, fumes from the fragrance oil when I'm making it in my garage. And for those that don't know, it's been cold like for the past couple of weeks. And today I think it's like 80 degrees and I'm enjoying this weather. That's the benefit that I get from living in Florida. So I'm gonna definitely, you know, go ahead and enjoy this weather, take advantage of it. And I'm gonna bring you guys along so that you can see everything that I use to make my candle and how I make my candle. Now bear with me because this is not my normal setup. I have everything set up in the house where it's more, um, it's more easier for me to grab stuff and do stuff, but I just wanted to come out in the open in this environment where you guys can just, you know, see it a little better because like I said, it's more room and I just love um, being out in nature. So enough said, let's jump right ahead on to the video. So bear with me here, cause like I said, I'm in the garage and you know, everything is um, a little, a little out of the order that I want it to be. So I'm gonna try to get it as good for you guys where you don't miss out anything. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Now the, the containers I'm gonna be using today is these little container, it's eight ounces. I really like using these because um, they have these little, um, I call it the little supporter at the bottom. So when you sit it on your countertop, it's not just the candle container sitting directly on your counter, it's a little bit of support. So I really like this and also this little piece right here, it helped me to guide to put my wick directly in the center where it's not over here too much or over here. It give it an actual center placing for me. So this make it very easy for me to place my, my wooden wick inside of the container. Next, I use this kind of wooden wick here. You see it's a little thicker and I like it because when I burn my candle, it burn clear the whole perimeter. You get your money's worth. So this is why I use this size here. I normally get my um, wick from Miski. This is the Crackling Booster Wick 0.4. They do have smaller ones, but I like using this size because I like my clients to get their money's worth. Next, um, I use this container here to pour my fragrance oil. It's very soft and it do not bleed through the container, the fragrance oil. So I really like using this container. Next, I'm gonna be making some red heart in my candle because you know, Valentine is right around the corner. So this is what I'm gonna be using this mold to make my heart. Next, I'm gonna be making some wax melt. This is the tray that I use. I use this, I use the six, the six space. Some people use eight, some people use two, but I use six. So this is my wax melt container. I'm gonna be mixing two fragrance oil to get my Valentine's Day scent. And the reveal of the name I'm gonna be using is Fierce because the scent is gonna be fierce. I'm also gonna be mixing this coloring, the red coloring for my heart. So this is what I use for that. I also have, this is a temperature gun. You need this, anyone who make candle, this is very, very important because in order to see what the temperature is before you pour, you need this gun here. Next, I have my wick trimmer. You need this to wick your wick after it is cured. So this is what I use, and also when you do burn it, um, this is what you use to 
clip your wick so that you could have that first send back again. These are my warning label. This is what I use to put at the bottom of my candle. This is everything that you need to know, the warning before you burn your candle. The next I use is the clip sticker. This is the kind that I use. It's very easy to work with. Next, I use the wick clip. This is the one that I use. I really like this one here. I try different ones, but I like this because it's so thin. So the candle burn all the way down. You get every bit of your money's worth. You know, some candle when it burn, it stop like, um, like three quarters or half at the bottom. The, with this, the candle burn all the way down. So that's why I like this one. And you know me, I gotta be extra, I gotta go. No one will be able to see anyway, so. I don't know what the point of that was, but I'm just extra like that. And this is the gold low profile wick clip. This is what I got. You also need a scale. This is very important because you have to measure the wax that you're gonna use. You have to measure your fragrance oil. So you definitely need your scale. I use my glove so that I, I'm, I'm, I'm not touching everything else after I touch the wax because as you know, it's very, very messy. So I have my one gloves that I use. This here is alcohol. You need the alcohol to clean your containers before you start pouring anything inside of it. Because as we all know, it's debris buildup. Whenever you order something, it have like little dust inside of it. So definitely you need to clean it out first. This is my pouring pitcher. I have two, and I use these. I use one where I put underneath my wax warmer because it's short enough. And this one here, I normally like would mix the fragrance oil in. This is my mixing spoon that I use to mix the fragrance oil whenever I pour my wax in. This is the wax warmer that I use. It's very nice. I like the fact that you can control the flow of it. And this is the wax I use. It's a coconut apricot cream wax. And this is how this is how it look. Let's see if I can get a good. This is how it look. It look like um bricks, but then it's easy to cut up. And this is what actually melt into the liquid. And this is the spatula I use actually to not just only cut my wax, but also to mix my fragrance oil in. It's a little dirty because I, I made a candle earlier, so I already used it a little bit earlier. So that is pretty much my setup. This is everything that you need to make your candles. I wanted you guys to see how I actually make my candles, but my holder that I ordered to hold my phone it actually fell on the floor and broke. So you guys gonna just have to see my before and my after until I'm, um, I order a new one of my, um, my holder for my phone. So I wanted to show you inside of this. You see what I was talking about? Where you can place the wax directly in the center. So it's not crooked, it's not too far to the left, too far to the right. So that's why I buy this. It's a little more expensive than the regular one, but for that purpose and also the little support at the bottom, I'll pay the extra just so that you guys get quality. So this is it pretty much. I made one candle earlier today. This is what it looked like. See the nice, clear, even pour. This is fierce. This is gonna be the Valentine Day scent that I'm gonna be using. But this one here is not designed as yet. I do have to still put the little hearts at the top, but I just wanted you to see once it cure how it look. So for now, I'm gonna have to say thank you so much for watching my channel. Go online, support me, like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, you guys stay blessed. The finishing touch. I couldn't show you guys how to make the candle because my selfie stick fell and broke. So I couldn't hold the phone and make the candle at the same time. But this is the finishing touch. These are my wax smell. This is how it came out. I didn't want to do all red. I kind of like the different design on um, the three of them. And this is how the candle actually cure came out. This is how it look. And these are 
the little hearts that I'm gonna be putting at the top of it. So I'll show you guys how I'm gonna put the hearts on the candle. So what I'm using is a heating gun, candle heating gun. And what I do is go in there and melt the wax. You just go around side to side so that everything can be melted until you see the liquid like I'm seeing right now. And all you do is take your heart and you just place it however you want it. But you gotta be quick with it because the wax dry up real quick. So that's all you do. You put as many as you want. You put as little as you want. It's all how you want it to look. And you see the wax already dry, so I'm gonna have to go back in there. And you gotta be careful because it's gonna melt the heart, so you can't like go too close. So this is how we look. And I'm gonna do another one for you guys. I'm gonna do another one. right quick okay so that's done so that's how you do that so we have two right here I'm gonna have to go back in this one here and um knitting that, but this pretty much is how it look. And we have one more. This one right here. So there we go, we're done. This is how the finishing touch look for the candle. This is how the finishing touch look for the wax melt. So here we go. I'm gonna be um, creating a package for Valentine's Day. So you guys go online and support me and let me know what you think. Any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.